Hey guys, I've got a 20 by 16 inch and I'm going for a bunch of techniques today. Um, some black satin enamel prepared there on its own, some metallics, some bubble gum pink and neon lights radiant yellow. Don't ask, just, just don't ask. And um, I have my spray paint here that I used in my last video. So just so you can see the bottle properly, it's Amsterdam All Acrylics. So I'm spraying acrylic on top of acrylic. I'll set myself up here and I am going for this. Right, you guys so the overall look is pretty freaking sick now I didn't wait very long after my last um, spray attack there so where there's all that um, puddle of blue what I'm figuring is it's gonna do like it did here maybe a bit less because there is no gold over there but that's what I'm thinking when I saw that in time everything popped back up and it left 
that blue negative space there. Yeah. So much going on in this painting, you guys. So many paint reactions. I mean, all of that turquoise there is all metallic. How cool is that? Don't have much of the pink left. But this was really, really a great experiment. Fluid art is science, you guys. If you work with different brands, you'll get different effects right there. Oh, it's popping up through the puddle slowly. It's crazy. Um, I think it'll still start popping up a bit in time. Check that out. So the black satin enamel taking over around it. So that was like the crazy edge effect that I did in one of my simplest best videos where I pour um, off and back. And I had used also neon paints before and I know that they sell a lot. Um, I think I made two videos a while back on neon paint. Okay, shutting up now. Stay tuned for the dried result. Hope you guys learned some stuff here. Check out that madness right there. Back with the dried result and the analysis. First off, I'm calling this simple is best because you can easily get cells with the spray paint. The question is brands after that but you know how i'm a scientist slash experimenting fluid painter i believe in um, working with paint and different brands to get different effects so i'm gonna have to practice with different brands here what's interesting is here it's very opaque you don't see through it but then here you can see underneath it's like looking at the side of a shore where there's the deep water and then there's less and less water. And in my last spray paint video, I, um, I sprayed on top of the artist loft the black paint um, mixed with a little bit of satin enamels and it stayed on top. But in this painting, this is all black satin enamel paint, which is a very powerful paint. So although there is a little bit on top of it, most of the paint sucked in um, the spray paint, and that's not surprising. Just like um, it went through the cracks of the metallic paint, because metallic paint is also powerful. When I say powerful, I mean it takes over. It reacts a lot compared to other brands of paint. That's what I mean. Super interesting, you see? those lines that came back up there, satin enamel. And of course, what's always important is the overall look. It's kind of crazy this one, right? I'm liking it. Hope you guys like it too. Have a good one.